Hello YouTube, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is Arcs and Music with um, something I'm calling a triple play. It's basically showing you three um, different lots here and this specific triple play is on apartments. So there's going to be three different apartments. They're all small one bedroom apartments in the city of Bridgeport. So the first one is called The Gentry. Um, it's down at the bottom part of the screen there. And so this is an exterior shot of the building. Bridgeport is really cloudy and dark. So yeah, these shots aren't really that exciting. As we get into the house here, it's going to be a little video walkthrough and then followed by some screenshots. So this is our kitchen area, which is open with the living room area. So that living area is very open and being a small lot, that's typical. We also have a little patio area which I carved out. So dealing with the apartments, it was an interior exercise here for the most part. Um, but I did carve out some exterior areas which I thought was missing in the game and the apartments. Screenshot of the kitchen. Screenshot of that living space. And a screenshot of the patio area which you can grill out there if you want, change it up. Uh, this is just a bathroom. And then this uh, room I, t I made a study. If you wanted to, you could make it into a bedroom. Um, there is space to make it into a bedroom. I just wanted it to be a study just to kind of make it something different. So this is our bedroom here, um, really dark wood colors and uh, that kind of cream color, cream color with the dark borders. And then the yellow in the bed is what I use for the couches. This is the outdoor area for that room, it's actually very spacious. And then the bathroom for that room, which... Um, I really liked the way this bathroom turned out. It's just really nice and it looks out onto that balcony area as well. So even though this apartment's kind of small, it still has got like views and, and make it nice. So the second one's Founders Peace, which is located up at the top of the map there from that view. Okay, and this has like just an entry area. Um, that wraps around um, but it could be a garden that's what I usually use it for when I play the living kitchen and dining area are connected because this lot's actually really really small this is a screenshot of that entry garden again you have the kitchen here which has a view out to the bridge the living room This is the bedroom. So this is just kind of a big overview of the bedroom, which does kind of look strange. <laughs> and the bedroom also has like an outdoor area attached to it. This is a better view of the bedroom. And then this bathroom. I love this bathroom. I think it looks really cool. Um, I like the colors. This is an overview of the um, apartment itself. It's rather, it's kind of small, but nice. I wanted to keep it small to keep it a little bit challenging. Again, that view to the bridge, and also looking at the hills. So the final lot is called Founders Keep. It's actually right next to Founders Peace. Um, similar views. So this is the exterior of that building. So this, I took this this um, footage here. It's supposed to be like a sim approaching the building with like their cell phone or something like that. And it does really look like it too. <laughs> so again, this lot opens up to like a wraparound balcony. Like this portico is a major part. All the rooms open up to the are open to the outside. But this one. So if you have a cold climate, this is not really going to be practical for you. 
but the living spaces are connected like most of them open so this is the kitchen area which I really love that wood color I think it looks really nice and then the living room so that's all kind of connected and there's a half bath in there as well and then this bedroom I loved this bedroom again that wood is in this room as well um, I love the um, closet that I made it just kind of looks really nice um, over there that's a closer picture of it it just looks really nice got a little seating area and a book area so the bedroom is nice and spacious and big and has lots of different pieces and parts to it that I really think are, are nice and then the bathroom which is simple but really pretty I like the yellow in there and this is a night view of that portico which is really nice and then the dining room which is outside again for more warmer climates this is a plan view so you can see the layout it's again small and that's actually a day view the previous one was a night view and they're really similar because Bridgeport's so dark so again thank you so much of course they'll be available for download the links will be in the description I just wanted to take a quick moment here to say that I know we're all anxious and excited for The Sims 4 to come out, but I did want to just um, remind everybody just to enjoy The Sims 3 while we, you know, while it's here and try to come up with creative and fun and new ways to enjoy the game. I feel like there's a lot of gameplay and a lot of opportunity um, for us just to have a good time. I am working on a creative world. I was really curious about that tool. It always kind of intimidated me. So I am creating a world and I'll be sharing more of that. Um, in the near future, I do um, appreciate you guys' this time and I hope that you have a wonderful day, week, month, year, life. So this is me putting my voodoo on you to enjoy The Sims while you have it. <laughs> Peace and love to y'all.